What's up, everybody? I've got a free NHL play coming your way. The Coyotes are taking on the Canucks this Thursday, April the 14th. Welcome to Picks and Parlays. I'm Allie Burns, and we're brought to you by Caesar Sportsbook. We've got a new promo for all new accounts. They're going to hit you up with up to $1,100 in first bet insurance. Just check out the description of this video, and you'll find a link. Click on that link and bring yourself there, or just use the promo code Morning. CZR. With me today, I've got expert NHL handicapper Nicholas Earl from Earl Sports Bets here to break it on down. What's going on, Nick? Uh, not too much. We got about, I think, nine to 10 games left for some of these teams before the Stanley Cup playoffs. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, those that they're always the best postseason that the, the, with hockey. So uh, coming down the stretch and it's uh, a lot of fun this time of the year. Yes, yes, it is. I do love me some playoff hockey. It's no March Madness. Don't lose your mind. But I do love me some playoff hockey. Uh, so we got the Coyotes at the Canucks. Canucks are minus two, 270. That's canuckle headed, if you ask me. Um, the total on this one is six. What do you got? Yeah, they're minus 270 favorites, but they're minus 270 favorites for a reason. This is an Arizona Coyotes team that has kind of laid down and died at the end of the season here. Uh, when we look at what the Coyotes have done recently, they've lost four straight games uh, by four or more goals. Uh, they've given up at least five goals in four straight and five of their last six. And five of their last six, they've lost by four goals at least. Uh, and actually, one, two, three, four, six straight losses. There's six straight losses uh, that they've had uh, are by four or more goals. They've had two wins in those as well. But uh, this is an Arizona team that. Uh, had, was not very good entering the year, and they also lost their best player, Clayton Keller, to injury, and this team just isn't producing anything anymore. They've had less than three expected goals in 10 straight games. They've given up at least more uh, three or more expected goals in eight of the last 10 games. And this is a Canucks team that's coming in playing good hockey. Uh, they've won four straight games. They've puck lined uh, in three of the last four, and two of the last four they've won by at least four goals. And uh, these two teams did just play in – Vancouver won that game 5-1, and I'm, ex I'm expecting something similar to that uh, game that we saw last time. Now, I usually don't do lay these type of numbers here. Uh, usually, I'm, I'm someone who jumps on the opposite side of these, but I'm going to take the uh, the minus 1.5 here uh, and the minus 2.5, and, and I even sprinkled half unit on the 3.5, thinking it's going to be a 5-1 game. That 3.5 at my book is plus 375. I put half a unit on that as well. I'm expecting a 5-1 type of game here. I expect... Coyotes to do the what they've been continuing to do lately, and that's put up absolutely nothing on offense and give up goals like it's nothing on defense. So I'm going to lay the puck line, the super puck line, and the mega puck line here uh, with the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, just a big lay in this game for me. I usually don't lay big favorites like this as much, uh, but this is one of those games where I can see this being 5-1, 6-1 Canucks. So uh, nothing but knuckleheads here uh, with Vancouver uh, on Thursday night. Maybe it's the contrarian in me, but it is so obviously the Canucks way that it makes me feel like maybe I should play the Coyotes. Nothing against you, Nick, but I mean, it's that obvious of a play here. Um, and I hate obvious plays, but I like what you're doing, sprinkling, what do we call them? Super puck lines. I love a super good super mega puck, puck lines. lines. Yes. A super mega puck line. Oh, that's, that was the three and a half. That I got too far, 375. That, that's the <laughs> mega puck line. Three and a half. That's plus 375. Expecting a 5-1 game. That's fair. That's fair. Um, how have you guys been doing in hockey and the NBA and, of course, in MLB over at picksandparlays.net? Uh, we've been doing pretty good lately. Uh, MLB uh, started off good. We we didn't have a last a good last couple of days, but uh, it's been it's been good. Tim's M uh, NBA has been really good lately. I think he's one of the tops in the NBA the last month. So and then hockey has been going pretty decent as well. So we're hoping to continue that into the playoffs here and then throughout the baseball season. Beautiful. So find Nick Earl and his brother, Tim Earl, over at picksandparlays.net. You can usually find them right at the tops of the leaderboards. I know you were number one on the whole site yesterday. I do remember reading mm -hmm. that. Um, and when you guys find them, use the promo code MLB. That's going to save you an additional 20% off um, at your checkout. So fill up your cart with lots and lots of premium plays and use the promo code MLB. Until then, we're taking the Vancouver Canucks pretty much any way we could get them minus one and a half, two and a half, and even super mega three and a half. Let's go knuckleheads.